Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to consider three ways of solving the areas of triangles. Using 1 over 2 multiplied by the base multiplied by the perpendicular height is one of the most common ways of finding area of a triangle. However, the base of a triangle is not always perpendicular to the height. Such triangles would have a given angle and two known sides. And in some triangles, the length of all the three sides are known. Also, not all triangles are right angle. In this type of triangles, using half times the base times the perpendicular height would not be suitable to find the areas. In this video, we are going to learn with conditions, the three ways of finding areas of triangles using the appropriate formulas. The first condition is when a triangle has a given base and height. The second condition is when a triangle has two known sides, a given angle, but no height. The third condition is when a triangle has three known sides, no given angle, and got no height. The formula for calculating H given condition is different. Let's start with condition one. The triangle must have a base and a perpendicular height. That is, the base and the height must be at 90 degrees. That is, the angle between the base and the height must be 90 degrees. If the base value is known and the height is also known, then we can apply that the area of this triangle is 1 over 2 multiplied by the base multiplied by the perpendicular height. Let's consider condition 1. Here you have to calculate the area of a triangle with a given base and height. We are going to use 1 over 2 times the base of the triangle times the perpendicular height of the triangle. For example, this given triangle has a base of 11 cm and a perpendicular height of 10 cm. Step number one. We are going to write out that the area of a triangle is half times the base times the perpendicular height. Step number two. The 1 over 2 is in the formula. We're going to substitute the base, which is 11, and the height, which is 10. And the area of this triangle is 55 centimeters squared. Next, we're going to find the area of this triangle. Here, we have a given base, and also we have a given height. Step number one, you're going to write out the formula that the area of a triangle is half base times the perpendicular height. Next, we're going to substitute for the base and also for the height. And our answer is 6 centimeters squared. You can see we do not require this length. Next, we have to find the area of this triangle. Despite we are given this, we just need only the base and the height. And our answer is 12.5. Here, we do not know the unit. Next, in this question, we are just concerned about the base and the given height. If you substitute for the base and for the height, our answer is 24 centimeters squared. You can see that this length is not required. In conclusion, 
if you have the base value of a triangle and the height you can find the area now let's consider condition two the triangle must have a known angle and two given sides in this condition we are not concerned about the base and the height of the triangle next in condition two you are given two sides of a triangle and one angle and here no height in this condition half times the base times the height will not be needed for example here we are giving two sides of the triangle and a known angle the area of this triangle will be 1 over 2 multiply by the two sides of the given triangle multiply by sine of the given angle in this formula this must always be sine and our area is 57 centimeters squared next we're going to find the area of this triangle here we have two given sides and an angle the area of this triangle will be 1 over 2 times the two sides times sine of the given angle and this is our area to two decimal places next let's consider condition 3 in this condition the length of all the three sides of the triangle must be given and we are not concerned about the base the height or the angles in such a condition we are going to be applying the heron's formula next in the third condition we are given three sides however we are not given an angle and no height in this condition this formula cannot help us and this cannot help us either we are going to require a new formula known as heron's formula when given the three sides of a triangle without an angle and a height the first step is to solve for the semi perimeter that is we're going to add all the three given sides and divide them by two this is step number one and in step number two we're going to apply this formula to find the area remember the formula has a square root let's find the area of this triangle here we are giving three sides but no height and no given angle step number one we're going to find the semi perimeter that is we're going to add the three sides of the triangle and divide by two and we have 8.5 centimeters next in step number two we're going to find the area of the triangle by applying heron's formula next wherever we see s we're going to substitute 8.5 and we're going to substitute for the three sides if you compute carefully our answer is 11.98 centimeter squared to two decimal places in addition if the three sides of the triangle are equal that is an equilateral triangle then the area can be calculated as the square root of three divided by four multiplied by the two sides of the equilateral triangle for example all the sides of this equilateral triangle is five centimeters however in finding the area we just need only two sides of the equilateral triangle
always look out for these conditions whenever you need to find the areas of triangles. If this video was helpful, please click the like button. Also, subscribe for more videos like this. I will see you in the next video lesson.